In this video, we are back with our two-week ukulele practice and technique challenge. This one, we're gonna work on hammer-ons. Welcome to Ukite the Pros, I'm Terry Carter. I'm really proud of you for making it to this video. Great job on a dedication to yourself and to your plane. This video is gonna work on hammer-ons. This is a really important technique and it also works well as a great warm-up as well. We're actually gonna revisit one of the earlier lessons in this challenge, but we're gonna add hammer-ons to it. All right, there's not too late to sign up for this challenge in order to win a brand new Kala ukulele. We'll put a link to that below. You just gotta do a few things. You gotta sign up with that link. You gotta subscribe to my channel. Head on over to Kala's YouTube channel. Give them a little love too for supporting us, supporting the community, supporting you in this challenge. And then you gotta post at least one video. That's right, one video over on the Ukulele like Pros forum. The more videos you post, the more chances you have to win. The other thing is we have a VIP part of this challenge. It's not too late to sign up for that as well. In the VIP, not only do you get all the tab, all the backing tracks, everything you need, you also get access to the private Zoom calls, and you have a chance to win a Koaloha. That's right, a Koaloha ukulele. Oh, look at that. I went playing a Koaloha. Koaloha ukulele as well, so make sure to show Koaloha a little love over on their YouTube channel as well. All right, are you ready? Because I'm ready, let's dive into this lesson where we're gonna focus in on the hammer-ons. All right, so in this one, we're gonna learn the hammer-on. We're gonna be using one of the first lessons that we did in this challenge, which is using fingers one and two, fingers one and three, and fingers one and four, except we're gonna be doing a hammer-on. All right, I'm gonna talk about that in a second. You might notice I'm playing my Koloha Napaka and these are really unique because they have mango and koa wood all together in a great sound and uke. Now I do have a low G on this one. It doesn't matter if you have low G or high G for this video. All right, if you like this ukulele or need anything else for ukulele, make sure to check out the number one store, which is store.ukulelepros.com. All right, hammer-ons. What are hammer-ons? Okay, it's simply gonna be this. You're gonna pick one note. I'm right here on the first string, first fret was my first string, and I'm gonna hammer on with my second finger. Now I do not pick that second note. I just simply pick it once and I hammer on. Now you gotta use a little bit of pressure to get that note to ring out. And you basically want both the notes to ring out about the same volume. So if I pick this one, you need a hammer on nice and hard, nice and firm to get that note to ring out. And just make sure you're playing right on your fingertips. Now I am using my thumb for this one. If you wanna use a pick or alternate finger, that's totally fine as well. So we're just gonna go, Hammer on, next string, one. That's actually beats three and four. One, two, three, four. Now, if you have a low G, you're gonna notice that the low G is a little harder to get that sound. You gotta press down a little harder, hammer on a little harder. If you have a high G, totally fine. All right, then we're gonna just slide up to the second fret, do the same thing. And then the last one here, we're just gonna slide up to the third fret. But notice you're getting and you're hearing that second note, even though I'm only picking one time. All right, so we're gonna do that up to the third fret. Then we're gonna go back. You're gonna hear some clicks. We're gonna go back to the first fret. Now we're gonna do hammer on from fingers one to three. And that third finger is gonna go on the third fret. So one, two, and the next ring, four, one, two, three, four. Now I'm kind of over exaggerating how much I have to lift my finger up here but you do have to give it a good amount of pressure. All right, so then we get there, we're gonna go to the second fret. And then to the third fret. All right, we're gonna stop right there. Now, of course, when you're practicing on your own, you can take these as high up as you want. I just didn't want them, the video to go too long, especially when we're playing with the backing track, which is coming up here in just a second. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna do our pinky. One, and four, okay, let me get that a little cleaner. Right there, we're gonna hit that right there on the fourth fret. Next string up, this is a little harder. Side up to the second fret. Third fret. All right, you notice that that pinky is a little bit harder to use. 
How many of you are struggling with that pinky? Leave a comment below. This is something that maybe you need to focus a little bit more on your pinky or your third finger or your second finger, just depending on what strength you have. But this is an amazing builder of that dexterity and the strengths for the fingers. All right, you ready? Let's go ahead now. We're going to bring in the backing track. We're going to do all three of those. First finger, second finger, up to the third fret. Then I'll count you into first finger, third finger, up to the third fret, and then first finger, fourth finger, up to the third fret. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How did you do on that one? Leave a comment below one to five. That's a tough lesson, especially with that, that pinky finger. You got to really give it a little bit of extra strength in order to get that note to ring out. Okay, so that's a hammer on. If you want the backing tracks, so we have the slower and the medium. That was a medium. That was that 120 and the faster um, and the PDFs tab. Don't forget, that's a VIP option. We're going to put that below for you to go and check out. And also, after this challenge is over, if you want more, if you like this stuff, check out. We're going to have a special, <laughs> special. I mentioned this before, but just in case you haven't seen it, we're going to have a special advanced technique workshop. So working on this stuff, but actually taking it to a whole new level if that's something that interests you on that. All right, so that's gonna do it for this one. Work on this. Remember, you can work it as high up the neck on each one of these and focus on the finger, whether it's the pinky, the third finger, or the second, or all of them that give you the most problems. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. We're not done though. We got more videos and I'll see you in the next one.